Marcus Tui Sosopo joining us. I have your name pretty pretty good now. Yeah, it you is, got it. You got it locked down. That's, that's nice. not bad. That's good. A little flair with it. Yeah. Um, I, I want to talk about the intensity today, uh, and you, you know, it seemed like you guys were pushing them pretty hard to really dig to that that deep level. Yeah, we're we're challenging them and we're pushing them, and uh, we just want to get them past some barriers and hopefully they can push through and and get some real good work in. And you know, they've they've done a nice job with it. They put three days of good hard work in this week and uh, we challenge them and, and, and you know they got some work to do yeah. but by the end of spring ball I think that they'll realize they've come a long way. One of the things that's always interesting to me is, is the idea of you know you hit you hit a wall or you hit that barrier and then you have to decide yourself to overcome it and this is a team that, that in the past hasn't been able to do that very well. Do you see guys kind of reacting or, or responding to the challenges that you guys gave them? You know today it seemed like the second half of practice was way more intense, way better than the first half. Yes, I think initially, as you saw in practice, they they kind of reverted back to you know what what they've been doing before, and you know, we've been hitting them hard. At if we want to go where we want to go, we got to do something we've never done. Yeah. And they were responding to Coach Moore's challenge, and they finished practice strong. Yeah. So if they continue to do that, then they'll build that uh, mental toughness and that personal fortitude to be able to do that come fall when you're actually going against somebody that's really trying to go against you. Yeah. You know, uh, as a first time. Uh, full-time assistant coach uh, at UCLA, you know, we'll, the bull practice we'll, we'll leave to the side, but but right now I want to talk to you about staff cohesiveness, and you watch you guys out there, and it really looks like you guys are all coaching everything, and it seems like a really concentrated effort. You know, if, if you notice something with a quarterback, you're going to say something, or with a running back, you're going to say something. Do you guys feel like you have a pretty common voice now coming from the staff? I think Coach Moore has done a great job of putting together a staff of guys that have the same passion, okay. uh, have the same focus and mindset on what it takes to win and be a champion. Yeah. And right now we're hitting on all cylinders, and we don't have to try hard. It's just I think how our personalities mesh together. And uh, you know, it's been a great group. I've enjoyed working with them so far, and I look forward to continue working, you know, with them for this year. So you guys are 20% done with spring ball, uh, three out of the 15. Talk about the next three and what you want to see. You know, forget looking at the spring game or looking that far ahead, but what do you just want to see over the next week? I just want to see, especially my guys, is just keep correcting the errors that they've been making and not to repeat errors. Yeah. And just to continue to elevate their game each play and, and in each practice that we have. And, you know, I've, I've challenged them in my room and they've done a nice job and you know maybe where they've improved on one aspect and I've given them five things to think about and hopefully okay. next the next this next week they'll be able to now improve on two or three things if not all five yeah. and and and, uh, and I think they will and like you said they got to find it with them themselves and make that choice yeah. it's got to be important to them and that's why we're making it hard for them. So we can find out who wants to do it and who doesn't. Good stuff. Marcus T.S. Tuiasasopo. There we go. Uh, UCLA coach, thanks so much. No problem.